Heart of Darkness. Their presence in my hands keeps me from employing magic. Yet rest assured, they do little to hamper my relish for slaughter. It would seem Malik's destiny with my blade was postponed. Perhaps Ariel could offer further guidance. Ah, the Lord returns empty-handed. Does the Seraphim elude you? Very well. Go east of Malak's Bastion. The Oracle shall give you aid.
The axes. High upon the face of these cliffs, hidden amongst the complex network of caves, the underground sanctity of the wise Oracle of Nosgoth lay sleeping. Perhaps it was time to brave the winds and seek out this Oracle from the vantage point of the heavens. Oh, little vampire, the game grows interesting. But with so many pawns, can you find the true player? Iron Sword
is a fragile thing. One minor shock, properly timed, can render them catatonic and ripe for feeding. Stun.
Even the gentle snowfall is lethal to a vampire's well-being. The blood of ages flows so sweet. Come, drink from us. The snow will do you no harm, for our blood preserves.
spiked mace. <laughs> Iron Sword Iron Sword Mm-hmm. 
sword. <laughs> Spiked mace.
Play. Nup Raptor's head. Energy bank. Antitoxin. The pentalich of taro. Implode. Flay. The heart of darkness. Reputed to have been ripped from the chest of the greatest vampire to have ever existed, Janos Audron, the heart of darkness restores vampiric unlife. Life is precious, Janos discovered, as it was torn, throbbing and bleeding from his own body.
A guillotine, its blade still wet with blood. Hidden amidst the many obscure artifacts in that museum, I discovered an ancient chronicle. This passage caught my eye. It was during these dark times, infested with the plague of the undead, that the Circle brought the Seraphan to existence. Trained to be devoutly loyal to the Circle and the perfect exterminators of the undead Scourge, they were led to many victories by the righteous Paladin, Malik. They cleansed the vampires with fire and released their souls to more blessed realms. There is no wrath as terrible as that of the righteous. I'd read enough. At once, disgusted and intrigued, I placed the book back down in that museum. Odd. This armor resembled that of the ward and his minions, yet the steel seemed newly fashioned and untarnished by time. I recognize this crest from my youth. Tis the sigil of the mighty lion of Willendorf, blood-stained and rusted upon this battered shield. The shield was newly crafted. Its metal shone brightly in the firelight. The crest I did not recognize. A nobleman? Seeking wisdom? Death has taught you well. Enough philosophy. I seek answers. Answers, indeed. I have them all, if you have the questions. And what are the questions for these answers? King Atmar, the only hope to defeat the legions of the Nemesis. King Atmar, paralyzed by his princess's malaise. King Atmar, the useless. Pray, good sir, what are the questions? A pox upon your tricks and babble, old man. Answer me this. Who is Malik, and how can I defeat him? All in time, Sirah. Yes, time. Unless you master it, it will master you. And now it's time for your answer. Malik, defender of the Nine, and last of the Seraphim Sorcerer Priests, his vanity led to the slaughter of the Circle at the hands of the vampire Vorotor. For his failing, his spirit was fused to a hellish set of magical armor. He has allowed no member of the Circle to fall since. What of this Vorotor? Follow the glow of the Ignis Fatuus to the Termagant Forest. Ignis Fatuus? The Ignis Fatuus lights the path to hell, nobleman. Your path. Time, Kay. Next time. I recognize this crest from my youth. Tis the sigil of the mighty lion of Willendorf, blood-stained and rusted upon this battered shield. Oh. Through this magic I can stop my enemies in their tracks. Frozen in time, they can do nothing to hinder their own doom. Sometimes I draw out their fate, for the added fear sweetens their blood. Thank you.
I am invulnerable to physical weapons, blade and claw. I can seep through locked doors and cracks and move swiftly like a shadow fleeing light. Energy Bank.